Oh, look, so Fraud is using Sheik. Because he's like, ah, I'm Fraud, so why should I have to use any other character, right? He's playing pretty good. Uh, this is going to be one of those um, tournaments where crazy stuff happens. Because we, we, we had a lot of crazy matches earlier today with Melee. Um, good amount of upsets with that. We actually had the biggest bracket for Melee. Uh, but a lot of people didn't come up with Smash 4. I wanted to feature the, the Cruise match. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. So, um, getting back to it, we're, we're back to the same old. We got Fraud versus Hidden in Winner's Semis, and they're both using different characters. Um, Fraud's main is actually Bayonetta, although he, we see him using Sheik right now. And Hidden, uh, Hidden plays a multitude of characters, actually. I, but the ones that I've actually seen him serious with is Fox and... Who was the other one? Pac-Man. So he's he's using Mewtwo for his own reasons. I'm not gonna question his motives. Remember to spread the link, guys. Try to spread it to as many behemoths as possible that may be interested in watching some Super Smash Brothers for Wii U uh, action going on. Oh, nice forward there. The read by uh, fraud. Nice. So it looks as though uh, with Sheik, you want to kind of follow up into Bunks and Fish. Uh, it looks like uh, some of the follow ups are maybe near, I mean, a jab into Bunks and Fish. I'm not 100% sure on that. Oh. He is playing so good right now. Oh my god, he tried to go for it. Overkill. Wasn't able to get it. Hidden taken. Game one. Because he was just, he was comboing him across the screen, dude. He was comboing him so hard across the screen. So, Hidden managed to take game one. And so, Fraud is probably saying to himself right now, uh, what do I do now? Uh, okay, this is the wrong one. Let me turn this mic off. Good. I had to turn one of the mics off. And we have um, Fraud's counter pick. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's definitely sand biking as usual. I feel like uh, he feels as though he's far above everybody else. Yo, hey. Hey, Akatsuki for life. Can you give me a real name? Yeah. So front starting off completely. Oh, there's Gary. All right. Oh my God, he's just comboing him to pieces. What is this man? Who is this man? Where did he come from, and why is he dominating my Smash Four scene? I just I definitely like to say congratulations to everybody for you know completing the six months. Um, that was destruction, uh, and for you know keeping up with the game, you know, trying to train and get better. We definitely had a very good season. This is the last season before rankings, so I I'm looking forward to seeing the results of the year. We had 12 tournaments all together for Super Smash 4. Um, well, I don't know how many for Super Smash Bros. 4, but I know we had like 12 all together for just the Smash series. Yeah, Noah def definitely looking like Bohemian Zero with that destruction just now. Oh, that was that was something else. So I think these two are kind of like trolling each other. Let's take a look. Oh no, I gotta put the camera slightly. All right. They were kind of... Okay, so we went to Mega Man stage. Let's see how this is going to work out for him. Let's see what he can actually do. Tried to come down on him with something, but mm, not having it. 
So they're both kind of like throwing out some weird hitboxes in neutral. I don't know how much good that's going to do for both of them. All right, so Fraud is kind of like throwing these nares out there. Nice. He's trying. Oh, okay. So one of the setups into a bouncing fish, I think, is nair into bouncing fish. And I think that's the setup that he's been kind of going for at a particular percentage. I, I'm not 100% sure on um, which percentage he's going for it for, uh, from. But um, we definitely know that's one of the best setups for Sheik into Bouncing Fish. He's going to be like a falling now. Doing an excellent job with his needles. Uh, hidden, uh, kind of like moving out of the way in neutral. Nice. Got the pivot forward tilt. Waiting on him to come up, uh, jump on stage the wrong way and hit him for it. Okay. Just kind of narrowing him back off again. Oh! Needles into Bouncing Fish. So we just found another setup. Okay, trying to read his air dodge. But wasn't able to get it. And as though, okay, this should be a stock right now. Able to get that back throw and tie it up. So... I think what Hidden needs to be looking for is definitely the grabs. And that's going to help him a lot in trying to like clear up a lot of these stocks. Nobody has a stock lead. They're both kind of playing pretty even. This is going to be game three, and this is going to be very crucial for who goes into loses bracket. <laughs> nice. Able to get that fourth throw out. But again... Not getting anything huge off of um, Nice. Now he's starting to get something going with his offense. Nice. Wow. Able to get him in a double fair into Bunks and Fish. And that's what he was kind of looking for the entire time. Really risky throwing that out there, considering he died the last time for it. But Hidden didn't do a very good job of uh, DIing away the first fair. And he was able to get a repeated fair on him because it seems as though Mewtwo does have very good recovery. Um, but again, um, not being cognitive of what's going on with that. Yeah. Oh, got the down throw, but wasn't able to get the tip it up smash. Nice back throw. All right, so Noah playing the game, the same game he's been playing the entire time. He's just kind of. Trying to get any follow-up into Bouncing Fish. I guess that's just the Sheik Meadow. Oh, he actually means me too. I didn't know that. I thought his main was Fox. So he's uh, bringing his main to the table. But Noah just doing a good job of knowing when to use Bouncing Fish and Needle. You know, using Needles to also keep him out. Got him with the forward throw. Tried to trick him into that up smash. Yo, this dude going for hard reads. Got him with the bouncing fish again. Expected him to do a get up onto the ledge. Got nothing from it. Yo, that bouncing fish can be used for multiple um, uses. That has multiple uses. Looks like it's a very good recovery. Again, going for these tepid reads, man. Nah, son. You're not getting knocked on Phonix, buddy. No reading rainbow for you. What? No up throw? No, it doesn't look like. Okay, now we can actually get him. And let's see what he's going to do with this, uh, with this percentage. Now, usually in this game, uh, you know, when you're when you're um, really high in percentage, you have rage. So this is going to be pretty good for Mewtwo. But if he can't get a hit, and he allowing Noah to just be super offensive on him like this, it's just not going to look good for him. Oh, tried to go for that bouncing fish, didn't he? Oh, nice. Get up, rising now. Had him off stage, could have get. Okay, nice. Let's see. Okay, that's a good offense that he had. I thought I was going to be a back air after the air dodge. No one not doing a good job reading these air dodges. Oh. 
Oh, yeah, okay. Noah's just kind of trolling at this point. Deeming himself the better player. I don't have to kill you. If I beat you right now, I automatically move on. Nice. Playing with his food, and that's what he gets, too, too. I mean, you don't want to wrap up stocks. That's what happens. <laughs> Say that's what you get for liking, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, the troll is so real. So, Noah's definitely not going to play around now. He doesn't want to go to loser's bracket. Because if he does go to loser's bracket, he's going to have to deal with um, Hamonka. Hamonka did a very good job of defeating Jay, which is one of like the top players here. Hamonka has just been improving in every game that he's touched. Street Fighter, Smash. The guy is trying to become the Miracle Baby of the Bombers. I, I can see that's what the, the grind is all about. Okay. So we're, we, we, went, we went back to this stage again. I guess they both feel really comfortable on it. The, I guess the sides are very good for when you're recovering because you're so close to the wall. So say somebody wants to go off in Gimpy, you can get a free tack. Uh, so that, that, that makes this a really good stage for Mewtwo moving forward. I mean in Rising Up. I'm not going to get in boot. Yeah, he's, he's, he's getting really good. Oh! Caught him with the read. He knew he was going to air dodge. Noah kind of just going for read and rainbow. Nice forward air. Ah, I tried to go for hard read into up smash. Wasn't able to get that either. He's going to have to try and wrap up this percentage right now. If he doesn't, it's going to be a problem for him because uh, Noah's starting to get that stock lead. Nice. Noah's definitely starting. I keep saying Noah. Fraud was actually starting to get that uh, stock lead on him. And you don't want to be behind because it seems as though Sheik does combo Mewtwo to pieces. Nice. Tried to get the forward air. I think he should have gone for a bigger hitbox in that situation. Oh, he's going for hard read, son. Okay. Hidden is actually doing a very good job. I don't think he's letting the nerves get to him at all. Nice. No, he was going to run in with the shield. Able to throw the grab out. Okay, so Noah now probably looking for something into Bouncing Fish. Because Fraud is just trying to get anything, any little combo started, any confirm. Yeah. Hard read him. Hard read the spot dodge. Fraud moving on. And that's what you call good matches right there. Um, certain things could have been different, but.